Do you think Ukraine is moving in the right direction in terms of reforms? I definitely think Ukraine is moving in the right direction in terms of uh, reforms. Uh, I think over the last three years, Ukraine has done more reforms than in the last 20 years. What are the main obstacles to reforms in Ukraine? I think there are uh, principally two obstacles. One is that, uh, let us not forget, this is a country in an active state of very hot war and uh, where more than 10,000 civilians have died and uh, where the government spends 5% of GDP every year on defense. So it's very difficult to be reforming the country while you are fighting a war. That's one point. And the second point is that over the last 20 years, the vested interests that have built up their, their uh, strong uh, uh, ties to the status quo, uh, and I don't only mean the oligarchs, I mean, for example, the entrenched uh, state administration or regional bodies. So anybody who is attached to a status quo is, is someone that doesn't want reforms. So I think those are the two main, two main uh, factors. How can the West best help Ukraine? Well, I think the West uh, can best help by doing more of what it's been doing and staying patient. I think we need uh, something what I call strategic patience uh, because I think it's important to understand that reforms of this deep nature in, uh, uh, that are fighting against such entrenched interests don't happen overnight. And uh, that's why I get very uneasy when I see people being fed up with uh, the reform pace. I actually think the reform pace has been quite, uh, quite extraordinary. <laughs>